Hello and welcome to another video. This will be another Kipiana Kami reaction. Enjoy the light-hearted uh, vloggage um, while you guys still can because starting in the next Kipiana Kami reaction, there's some serious titles and things that Michael's probably going to bring up. Uh, one will relate to Jennifer, another will relate to Doug, although although that, that's a different story with Doug, but still. A anyways, I'm not going to bring it up in this reaction. Uh, but, um, with that being said, let's see what happens in this video. Plus, we don't often see Kippy and Kamer go to the beach. So, and, you know, I reacted to a video from Boogie a few months ago of him going to the beach. So, it's cool that, uh, Kippy and Kamer's doing that now. So, with that being said, let's see what happens in this video. What's going on, you guys? Kip Yana Camera here, and today is the very first video of 2024. And right off the bat, if you're wondering, no, this is not a New Year's Eve video. We have decided not to do one this year. What the hell is even that? There's a lot. Really? Did he really include that? Psycho Dad, the Eviction Day video from McJugger Nuggets channel. Oh my god, I did not expect that. What the hell is even that? Oh my god. I did not expect KP on the camera to put that into his video. That's funny. But that also makes me wonder is KP on the camera with Juggernuggets, Nuggets going to be friends again now? I don't know that for sure yet. Just know if KP on the camera is putting clips from McJuggernuggets channel into his videos. Who knows? But. Oh my god, I had to say something there. Anyways, let's continue. The reasons why we decided not to do a New Year's yeah. Eve video, and I'm going to get into a couple of them right now. Some of it I can't get into, yeah, right. but I promise you I will get into yeah, it next year, or this year. Right now there's an aura of just bad news percolating on the surface right now, and I can't get into it. I can't talk about it. But there is bad news, and so with everything going on, we decided... Why are we celebrating anything? But I did want to talk about 2023. Right off the bat, you guys, this video was going to be a wrap-up of 2023 with a ton of unreleased stuff. Like Boogie2988 taking me to a strip club. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get into it. I'm on Twitter, and I'm seeing a trend of people just saying how bad 2023 was. And I can't relate because 2023 was actually an amazing year. Like me and Bridget going to L.A. for the first time. We were driving down the street, you guys, and we just saw a robot. Just okay. like... Scrolling along like a stroller. <laughs> no, you're going to probably won't kick you. We're not going to bother you, dude. We're just... you gotta... he, went, he went faster. <laughs> Leave it alone. Leave it alone, sweetie. Oh, I'm not just over. let it do its job. Dude, it was like, get out of my... Way, dude. <laughs> Did you see it like speeding up? Yes, he got scared. We stayed at probably the most expensive hotel room that I have ever booked. This does not look like Skid Row. Because it's not Skid Row, Bridget. Okay, I need you to calm down, okay? I can put my stuff away in the loft. Oh my god, what are you doing? You guys, that room was $30 thousand dollars we love that room so much that i even made a video that i sent to all my friends guys check this out this is when we walk in we got our kitchen they gave us some champagne some fruit this is the living room Why are you doing that right. okay um i'm gonna open this real quick Bridget, just because i want to show the out there so um here, hit that button. These open up. Show them the Hollywood sign. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So, I'm at the mercy of these curtains right now. Thank you. Excuse me. Okay. We're going to open this up. Bridge, I forgot how to open it. Oh, here we go. This is our balcony. There is the Hollywood sign. Oh my god. That's where the flower thing is from. Oh, this I have Hollywood. to get that now. I'm setting up for the I don't even get it. Dude, it's like 40, 50 degrees. That's yeah. one. It's so, like, cold. Okay. That is a 90-inch television. 
Let's just move in, Bridget. Okay. This has like fully stocked mini bar, snacks, all free. Okay, here is our room where we will be sleeping. With another big screen TV. What's behind these? No. Jeez, I don't even know either. Okay, and the bathroom. That room was so beautiful. Was it worth thirty thousand dollars? I don't know. <laughs> but you know, it was a good time. It was. Now on this trip to Los Angeles, I saw one of my great friends, Grim, get married. That's cool that he went to Los Angeles. Also, I remember Grim. Um, he was also at the McJuggernaut's Halloween party in two thousand nineteen among many people that were at that party. So there's quite a few people that was at that Halloween party with Jeff and had that in 2019. Kid Behind the Camera didn't go. But, um, like, Boogie was there. Grim, Grim was there. Ryan Star Review. Um, but, if there was any other YouTubers there, um, that weren't on video, I'm not aware of that. Those are just the three that I know that were at that Halloween party in 2019. So, anyways, let's continue. It, and I promise to you that I'll I'll play with your not your heart, and I'll make your wet not your eyes. Hey yo! And at the wedding, me and Bridget started talking about it ourselves. Like, it's been so long. Why don't we just do it too? Why don't we just get married? What? What did I do? You're not marrying me. I'm just not good enough. It's whatever. Well, well, don't no, say that. No, I'm not good enough. Don't don't don't. I'm do not good enough, Michael. Why would get you the do camera that? out of my. Face. Okay, you're gonna get us thrown out of here. God, what's that, Bridget? I, I know this is a flashback, not current, but well, damn, I wonder what caused Bridget to yell at him like, or yell at Kip, but can't be on a camera like that, yeah. While we were already talking about it, <laughs> definitely being yeah. there and seeing Grim tie the knot with his wife pushed us to the finish line. LA was an amazing trip. We had a great time. I tried delicious pancakes, went to WrestleMania, right. caught COVID. Right? Like, that part wasn't so great. That, <laughs> I could have done without that part. So we went to Los Angeles, and I was home briefly, and we celebrated Easter. Michael, 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 Michael Green, this way. Did you find eggs? Oh, Not look at all your eggs. eggs. Right here. Oh my god. You gotta bring his basket. <laughs> Michael, yeah, yeah. Hey. Michael, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Michael, where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, kid. There's snakes over here. Yeah, none of that footage has ever been released before, you guys, because I was doing so much that I couldn't use it. But that was Easter. After Easter, I went straight from Los Angeles to Myrtle Beach because I was doing the like video with Keemstar for Wings of Redemption versus Boogie 298. Yeah, I remember that. That's when I started doing reactions to Kip and Camera Boogie was around that time. Um, literally, like, the first Kip and Camera reaction was th that trip that Michael went on to go see... Uh, uh, Wings of Redemption and um, Boogie and, and this whole them fighting and all that. And I did some reactions related to that fight too. Even Soccer Dad reacted to it, which I did reaction to that video as well. So, yeah. Hey, that was amazing. I had such a good time doing that. But lit up like the fourth. I'm a happy drunk. Come to Papa Big Mama because your daddy's drunk. I'm gonna pump, pump it up like the good year blimp. Make you holler for a dollar. That's the way I pimp. Old minks and minks and shrimp dinners on the bayou. Them's all the things that I ain't gonna buy you. <laughs> There's Game Star. Also, it's like a flashback kind of video. I'm not a sad. Um,. Cause we're, we're seeing a lot of uh, things that were in previous vlogs of Kid Band Camera. It's like throwback day. I don't know what day this was uploaded, but throwback day is what I would call this video, pretty much. Not too far into the past, but like within the last few months, I would imagine. <laughs> We're gonna have the we're gonna have the 
get Boogie to sing a song on the way in, too. <laughs> Team Star and Brantley were amazing. It was such a good time, like, hanging out with them. And so we went from there to Arkansas to hang out with Boogie 2988. It's like Dr. Spock and, like, they, they no. snap people up. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, I remember this, too. That, this is, um, I, I don't know if Kipiana came and did the vlog in this restaurant, but I know Boogie did. So I definitely did some reactions related to this moment, too. So, yeah, it's definitely just throwback, pretty much, of just what's been going on in the last few months. That That's for sure, so. I will resume the video in a moment. Maybe two. All right, now we're going to continue. Yoda, dude, you're talking Star Trek. I'm does this sound like Star Trek to you? Does it? Yes, I know what you're talking Dude, about. Mm. The guy's got like the V on his on his no, chest. No, that's no, Yogi. my Yogi. God, Jesus yep. Christ! I can't. I literally can't stand you. You know that, right? Are you, are you, are you fucking with me? Star you know, Trek? Do you not know Star Wars? It's Star Trek. Is it gonna be a deal breaker? You're leaving. Are you really I leaving? I have food. You're not gonna eat food. I need a break. <laughs> From Arkansas, I am kidnapped by Boogie and taken to Houston, where I had an amazing time. I made fun of Boogie the entire time. He was flipping out. He cried. It was amazing. I loved it. Boogie, nobody's here to see you. Let's go get food. They won't know you're gone. You want to go? Yes, let's go. You want to go. go 30 minutes early? Yes. At least 30 minutes early? Yes. Let's go. You ready? Yes. You want to help me pack? Do you want to help me pack? Help me pack. Come back Wait, later. Help me pack. Wait. <laughs> Yeah, see, I knew that's what was about to show here. I remember that as well. Help me pack! Let's go, Mike! Okay, they're calling the cops, bro. While I was in Houston, true story, Boogie2998 took me to my very first strip club. You guys, this story is totally true on, the, like... My right hand to God. So we're in Houston. I'm hanging out with Boogie. And there's a couple of other guys like 8-Bit Eric. And there's another person who like did a movie recently or something. And we're hanging out with this guy. And everybody's like, hey, why don't we go to a strip club? And Boogie's like, yeah, I know a place. I'm like, how do you know a place? <laughs> how do you know a strip club in Houston? So we all pile up. Another person who did a movie recently. Hmm. I wonder who he's referring to. Because all I know that did a movie recently is McJuggernugget. So who knows? In his truck, and the first stop we make is at a gas station because I needed cash. I went to the ATM and I took out like eight hundred dollars so I could make it rain. And this is, I didn't know what to do. I'd never been to a strip club before. So we get to this place. I'm not gonna say what it's called because I don't want them like closed or like raided. But I'm like guys, oh no, uh, that place is it's questionable of its legality. That's all I'm gonna say. So we go to this strip club. We're having an amazing time, and the girl walks up to me, and she's like, hey, do you want to dance? And I'm like, yes, of course I want to dance. So this tall, gorgeous Cuban woman takes me by the hand, and we go to the back where the like, curtain is, where everybody gives their private dances, and the first thing that I noticed is that there's not a door. There isn't a door where I can be, like, privately like, receiving my dance. It's a curtain. And the only way that it closes is through a piece of gum that she took out of her mouth and stuck against the curtain to keep it closed. And she tells me it's like $10 a song. I'm like, that's, that's not very expensive, actually. That's, that's too cheap, almost. But I accepted it, and I got my very first private dance. And that's all I'm going to say. That, that's all I'm going to say. I'm just going to say that. Um, <laughs> nothing. I'm not going to say anything at all, actually. I will say that while I was there, I'm sitting next to Boogie, and I look over, and there's a guy holding a phone with my picture on it. And he's like, hey, is that you? So I come back from Houston. I hang out with my family. And then not long after that, Boogie shows up at my house. Whether you like it or not, man, we're friends. We've been friends for nearly a decade, okay? I need a friend right now. Do you understand that? I need a friend. Let me in. You need to let me in, Mike. How about this? Okay. Because today's not going to happen. We're not on good terms. It ended sketchy last time. Things are like, you're doing all kinds of weird like stuff Mike, on the I'm, internet. Mike, I'm not leaving here until you let me in. Bro, just come back tomorrow. Mike, I'm not, not leaving. Come back until you let me in. I'm come back tomorrow. I'm not leaving until you let me in. I had checkers up here. What? Uh, this is happening whether you like it or not. Either it happens on the porch or it happens in your house, okay? I mean, if I'm being honest, I had a really good time hanging out with... The whole Tina and Boogie thing was pretty cool, too. 
So, I think I know what he's saying. He's reviewing 2023 um, with this video. I think that's what this is. So, I'm seeing parts that I definitely recognize. Um, I don't think I was reacting to him out during the LA thing, so I don't exactly remember that. But then I got to the stuff that I've already reacted to, so. Boogie. Guys, my second favorite memory besides getting married this year was going to the beach. This is actually happening. Why is it that I still Oh, okay. So that's why that's the title. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I think he went to the beach with Boogie when that happened. So. That just sounds like low tide. Yeah, I just saw this. So yeah, he went there with Boogie. Really does. Really? The last time that I stood on a beach it was Lake Michigan. That's not a and beach, I'm, the lake. It has a beach like this. <laughs> this is the first time I've been to the beach since I got it. Ten years old. Yeah, you want to go? Right. We'll be fine, Mike. We are going to die. We will be fine, Mike. We are in flotation. <laughs> <laughs> Boogie, you gotta warn me when a wave is coming, Mike. No. You gotta. You gotta warn a guy. Boogie, wait. I'm down, Boogie. Damn. Mike, my phone. Boogie, you dropped the phone. It's gone. I was a kid so hanging out with boogie like it was amazing it was a moment that i'll never forget and something that i owe like a huge thank you to him for for making me go because i did not want to go thank you for taking me to the beach and forcing me to have a great time by the way while boogie was here i actually stole money from him right <laughs> Roll it. Which is, where which Korean barbecue place even is this? Like I don't see it on TripAdvisor. What are you doing? Is it in the same town? That's her. Do you mommy. like Korean barbecue? Oh, do you think about it? Oh, okay, fuck it. Do you think anything you think I like there? Or? He's made for Korean barbecue. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I like shrimp. Boogie, I'm ordering everything. <laughs> what are you what are you talking about? Everything. All you can eat Korean barbecue apps. Everything. Why? So my uh, dime. Paying, you can order whatever you want. Every you're dime paying. in my pocket is going to dinner. I assure you of that. <laughs> what? Yes. Every dime that I have in my pocket is going towards our dinner. Okay, it's your money. You spend it however you want to spend it. All right, we ready? Yeah. Dude. Uh, you know? I use $2 to reach your hand in and grab it hot. No. Are you insane? I'm a little insane, Boogie. This is still cooking. You literally want me to cook myself? How do you feel? I like want to alert you. I don't know my wallet. What? I don't have it. You got yours? No. What? We don't got our wallet or our Apple Pay or nothing. All I have is Look that. Look at how much you all order. What do you get? I can't afford that. We're going to start a during lunch if nobody. Great. I'm yeah, not kidding. Like for real, for I real? I really don't have my wallet. You got to pay. Look at freaking out, dude. What do you want me to do? Take out a loan? Look, we don't have our wallet. You need to pay for this. You I, got it? I can. I am. I, well, you, you had to hit me back. Yeah, well, I got cash. So okay, we'll give you. We'll pay you back. What? What? Like I have all my travel cash in here, and it's not that. You see it? Uh, you're not pulling this one, Boogie. No, Mike, there's nothing there. Come on, give us money because we we can't. We gotta be able. Mike, do you think housekeeping actually would steal my money? A thousand percent. That lady that walked by me had a lot of cash in her hand. Well, how, well, how much? How much you look like? You're looking at about a hundred and like thirty. That's or exactly how much I have. Yeah, I have like a hundred eighty dollars, Mike. Yeah, look at the one eighty. What? Wait, some ones. There was some writing on one of the ones. Mike, for real. Look, Boogie, what's going on? I, ca I maxed out my credit card on that room, man. I don't get paid till like Saturday. What? What are we gonna do? Well, okay. How about this? I'm gonna just leave. You guys can. Yeah, let's out. just leave and like leave Boogie with the bill. Yeah. You actually can't do that, Mike. Look, how much do you think this bill is? I, I could probably do, 150. I could do like 50 or 60. 
You got this. I'll pay for us. I'm paying for us. No, you're paying for all of us. figure it out. You're paying for all of us. From here to the end of the year, we're set. Like, it was just a long stretch of us being sick. Part of it was COVID, part of it was RSV, but we stayed sick the entire time. It was garbage. However, sick or not, the best part of the year came in November when I married Bridget. May the challenges that life brings your way make your marriage grow stronger. May you always be each other's best friend and greatest love. And in so much of the two of you have agreed to live together in matrimony, I promise. And then... And there's a marriage thing that they did. love for each other by these vows. I, by the authority vested in me, for the state of South Carolina, pronounce you to be husband and wife. Congratulations, you may seal your marriage with a kiss. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Finally! Yay! We were together for 15 years. 15 of some of the best years of my life. That girl has been with me through thick and thin. She how many channels are going to use the Life is Strange Before the Storm soundtrack? I recognize that from that game. All right. He was there for me when my father died. He gave me a shoulder to cry on. And I have an embarrassing cry face, and she's seen it. Okay, so she's, she's stuck with me now because I don't want anyone else to see that. We have been through so much together, and I couldn't imagine my life without her. So when we saw Grim get married back in the beginning of the year, we started talking about maybe us doing the same thing. Now, we were already talking about it before that. I just kept finding excuses. I want to take a second here to thank you guys for continuing to watch and support our channel. I started uploading less. And by uploading less, I kind of damaged myself and the algorithm. But a lot of you didn't care. You looked us up and you found us and you continue to watch for that I thank you guys enough you guys have been like family for so many years you've seen you've been there through the ups and the downs and i just want to say thank you camera has been up until 2008 so there is that too thank you okay, goodbye to 2023 you were great here Hope it was great for you guys, too. And if you had a bad 2023, I'm sorry. I hope 2024 is a lot better. Wow. Smash Mouth was right, man. The years come and they don't suck. Like, these years come by fast. 2024, yeah. treat us kind. change music um anyways um that was an interesting video there um so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video but uh i like that i did a year and review type thing i mean we're talking to send something similar but still that, this is a pretty good video so um but yeah anyways with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here stay tuned for the next one and the next video is going to be serious